Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. We're gonna be going into how you can avoid the real estate investing trap. And I'll show you how I essentially traveled Asia while still maintaining and growing my real estate investing business. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys three ways that I've used to essentially free myself of just getting stuck in the real estate investing business. And we all get into like entrepreneurship, getting to investments to have more money, of course, but also more free time. And these three ways of how I was able to travel Asia while still having money come in, having the time to actually explore Asia with some friends while also building that real estate business. These three things would be super important that I've implemented was first hiring a property manager. Okay, that was something that helped me a lot. We'll go in details into that. I was also able to implement systems where I'll automate, delegate, and eliminate different tasks of the business. And I learned this from a great coach and mentor, Craig Ballantyne, and we're gonna be diving into that as well. And finally, the last thing I did to eliminate the entrepreneurial trap from my life in real estate investing so that I could travel in Asia was that I took on partners. Was it looking at doing this alone? I wanted to build something with other people. So again, I have more time, make the pie bigger so we make more money. And of course, with that freedom of time and freedom of money, now I have freedom of location so I could travel while still doing real estate. So let's get right into the details of those three tips. So as I was getting ready to go travel to Asia, first stop was gonna be in Thailand. I was actually starting to get worried because I had all these properties, I was still doing my own property management, and I was like, how am I gonna take care of all the tenants and all the back-end property management side of the business if I was not only in Asia, in a completely different country, but also time was flipped. In Asia, it would be evening, but back home here in Canada, it would be the morning. And when it's the morning in Asia, it would be evening in Canada. So I knew I could not do this alone. And that's where I had to find a property manager and interviewed a bunch of property managers. I, luckily, I got into contact with a great property manager, good friend, Jose. Jose is awesome. Just gave him some systems. He had all access to the keys and was able to essentially take care of the property while I was away. And now that stress and worry was lifted off my shoulders and passed on to the property manager. And just by having that simple system of having property management, now you can actually focus on whether you're in the acquisition stage of buying more rental properties or doing more burrs, doing more flips, or if you're kind of more so just in living your life now. You have built these rental properties, you've passed it on to property management, and now you can actually enjoy the free time that you've worked so hard to create. And that's what I wanted when I went to Asia is that I just didn't want to deal with that property management while I was traveling because my focus was to just enjoy traveling and to also test out, okay, once I've delegated the property management, how can I use the time while still traveling in Asia and having location freedom to continually build my real estate business? So what are your insights? What are the things you're learning? I'd love for you to share them in the comments below. Now, the next thing that helped me get out of the entrepreneurial trap as a real estate investor was to take the system that I got from Craig Ballantyne. He's the author of The Perfect Week Formula. And this system is the automate, delegate, and eliminate system. So once I was on the way to Asia, I had already started to implement automation into my business. So how did I do this? The first part was I basically hired a team to build me a bot for my Instagram. And some of you might say, oh, like how does that help with real estate? Well, that bot on Instagram allows me to still get leads for private deals, still get leads for maybe some real estate investors that are wanting to get to the next level and scale and get into our coaching programs and even to attract money partners from friends and family online because people would comment or they would send me a DM and then the bot would take care of these specific people and they would 
go through um, basically a chat bot system so I would get more details and figure out okay can I help this person get into real estate can I help this person by buying or selling their property helping them with that transaction phase or can I help this person maybe they want to park some money they're a good friend or family and they want to do some deals together but by having that automation built in now I can have scale because that chat bot is working for me 24 7 while I was sleeping in Asia, it would be the day in Canada, and there's leads that would come in during the night. So what I would do is before um, going to bed, I'd be chilling in the hotel room, and I would set up my chat bot and get it ready for acquiring those leads so that people can contact me. And then when I wake up, now I would know, okay, this person wants to buy or sell some homes, this person wants to get some real estate coaching, and this person wants to get in a conversation and they like what I'm doing, they wanna become a money partner or a joint venture partner. So that's the first part of setting up automation. Now, the other part is to delegate. And something that I learned while getting ready to travel to Asia is that I need to pass on more responsibilities to my team here in Canada. So that meant delegating anything and everything that I could possibly think of to my awesome assistant, Fiona. Anything that I knew she could take care of, I just tried to pass it on to her. And it really helped us build that communication and also realize what she's good at, what she struggles with, and what I'm good at and what I struggle with. By finding all these tasks, such as like doing my bookkeeping, taking care of emails, um, responding to even messages, um, taking care of different people that reach out, they have questions. How can we organize all that? How can I delegate all these tasks to her and also build those systems so that she has a checklist of what she's doing. Um, and again, because time was flipped while I was traveling Asia, it wasn't just the complication of not being in the same country, but it was not being on the same time frame. So now there was just not enough time for me to travel Asia plus work, plus kind of calculate that, hey, back home, it, it's the opposite time it's night when it's day and day when it's night well having Fiona take care of all those tasks that I've delegated to her just gets me more of that freedom of time to enjoy um, the life that I built and now I can focus more on better systems now, the last part of this automate delegate eliminate system is eliminate and here it was just taking a look at my life and what could I eliminate that was stealing potential and stealing time from me and the business and what I was trying to do. So what I was trying to do is grow the business while traveling Asia. What's stopping me? What's, what should I eliminate that's gonna be an obstacle? Well, first one was alcohol, right? I was out there, usually, you know, people were thinking that we were partying all the time um, in Asia, but I would actually only drink on the last day of every month after I've made sure everyone on the team got paid, we've grown the business, we got some leads and it was a good month, awesome, everything worked out, okay, now I can kind of celebrate that time. But I was not gonna travel Asia and just go crazy partying every single night and then drinking every single night. I knew I had to eliminate that or at least lessen it. Another big one was eliminating any type of work that's repetitive and instead just make sit down, make one system, right? So an example is, for me, marketing is very repetitive. I know I do it every morning, and in Asia I was doing it all the time, but at night before going to bed. So how do I actually generate those leads? Well, because I knew I had to do this all the time, I just built a system, and I just simplified it, right? It was just a quick checklist of what I have to do. Now, in Canada, I do it right when I wake up, and this is open my social media and set up what I call my social media funnels. How do I actually attract people that are qualified, that we can help, and Get them interested at asia i would do that same checklist that same system before bed right and by eliminating the constant task of having to rethink what am i doing for my marketing tomorrow i have one task and i just repeat it forever pretty much so i know every day while i was in asia every time before bed i would just do this system and it's eliminating any thing that i found was just so repetitive that if I just make one system, one checklist, could be as simple as one checklist, could be as simple as making one video or making one landing page, well now that's taken care of. And now I've eliminated that task from redoing it in the future. So automating, 
your work implementing some sort of automation, some um, AI, some form. For me, it was having a chatbot. Um, then it's having the ability to delegate work. So now you have a team that can give them some tasks and then also eliminating anything that's stopping you. For me, it was trying to eliminate as much alcohol as possible and also eliminate any repetitive task and replace it with a better system such as a checklist or even hiring someone to do that and also going back to automation. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you love this content, please hit that follow button on my Instagram. That's at Patrick J. Hilario and thanks so much. Finally, the last thing that helped me escape the entrepreneurial trap and have more freedom in my real estate investing business so that I could actually travel here. In this case, I was traveling to Asia. This is going to be taking on partners and no longer doing it all on my own. We have the building company, Kong Custom Homes, who also we do real estate renovations. So I had to take on partners on that side of the business, right? To continually buy properties, do some more burrs, do some flips and even do some new builds, I had to take on partners that were better at the construction side than I was, right? I'm not the best at the construction side. I'm more of like planning, being able to handle the finances and taking care of uh, more of that vision, that step-by-step -step piece and a little bit of consulting that happens in there. But for actually building a house from the ground up, definitely not my specialty. So I knew I had to find someone for that aspect of my real estate investing business and just doing deals with other people. By doing that, now the team gets bigger, we can do bigger deals, and I get a little bit more of my time back. So how it worked in Asia was every few weeks, I would have a call with my partners, with the team, and then we would just talk about, okay, what are we doing to move forward? What happened the last few weeks, last few days in construction? How are we on building permits? How are we on finding tenants? Okay, what do I need to do? What does my partner need to do? What does the rest of the team need to do? And by taking on more partners, I'm essentially just, again, adding to the system of delegating work to others, being able to build something larger and not having to do everything myself. Try to do everything yourself, even if you're in the location of your business, it's very difficult. Like I would just find myself getting overwhelmed. But now that I have partners, and people on the team that I can trust, that we're sharing the work together, you get a lot more done because you know two heads, three heads, four heads is better than just one. So by taking on partners it actually allowed me to scale the real estate investing business and also enjoy more of my free time so I can actually explore and travel. And again, not be trapped by real estate. That's not the point. The point of all this is that I realized to go further, I needed better systems. I needed to make sure that I had better team members and I need to take on better partners and really grow it so it's not just myself. That's something I learned while traveling to Asia because I would not be able to do that on my own. Um, even while working from a laptop. Hey, do you have a question you really wanna ask me? Make sure that you send me an email. I, leave, I read all these emails. Email me at, at Patrick Hilario at hilarioholdings.com. Send me your questions there and I'd love to connect with you and help you out with that. I just need to pass on work to other people. I can't do everything on my own. I need property managers. I need systems to automate some AI in there to delegate, have team members I can actually pass work to and then also eliminate things so that I can actually function at the best of my capabilities. Then also make sure that I'm building something with partners that I can trust and that we can all grow together. So that's something that I've personally learned from traveling Asia and doing real estate while in Asia and traveling and having that free time. Now, I think that the main key point here that regardless of what you're doing, maybe you're just someone who's trying to get to the next level is that your personal growth requires not only personal responsibility, but taking responsibility for other people in that you kind of have to lead the way and not do it yourself, right? If you just think you're doing it yourself, but there's no other people connected, you don't have a team built around you, you don't have partners, you don't have people that you can actually consult and delegate and actually talk about what you're building, your business, your future vision, it's gonna be very hard because you'll be stuck doing the same thing, right? I feel that if you're, you get caught up in the entrepreneurial trap and get trapped there, it may be because, and this is just like 
an insider, just me kind of thinking out loud, it may be because you're also stuck in those personal development, that personal side of building your business outside of just yourself, right? So I think it's just, you just need a team, right? You can't just travel and not get stuck in your real estate investing business if you don't have a team. If, it's your, if you're alone, you're basically saying that you want to get stuck, right? You're basically capping yourself at a certain point. And something I learned is just that teamwork is key. And hopefully you can apply this to other aspects of your life of that. Okay, if you start to feel stuck, you want to explore a little bit, maybe you're getting into that entrepreneurial trap or you, you, you did this for freedom, you did this for more money, but now you're stuck trying to make money and now you don't have that freedom. Well, okay, well now you, that means you just need to add more people to the team or start working together, get personally responsible for your situation and find out how can you bring more people in so that you can have a little bit more of that time back and start realizing that your time is worth more if you're finding yourself trapped by your own business. It just means, hey, maybe it's time to charge more, maybe it's time to add more people to the team. So. Hopefully you guys got some value from this video. I'm just trying to share how I've been able to avoid the entrepreneurial trap of being a real estate investor and then actually be able to go out and travel different places in the world. Last year it was Asia pretty much. And now the importance of if you're gonna get into real estate investing and you want more free time and freedom, you gotta get property management something I've done. I really do believe that it's one of the best ways you get a bunch of your time back. Also was able to set up systems to automate, delegate, and eliminate different tasks from my life. And then finally, just be able to take on more partners if you want to scale, because you can't do everything yourself. It's very important to build a team. So hope that offers you a ton of value. Hit that like and subscribe button here. And thanks so much for being part of this YouTube channel.